We begin with trouble developing for Meta. Today, more than 40 attorneys general filing suit against the company. The main allegation that Meta designed its products, Facebook and Instagram, to be addictive to younger users. The suits also claim Meta has misled the public about those dangers. With us now is Brian Schwalb, attorney general for Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. Appreciate you having me. What does the success of this lawsuit hinge on? Well, the lawsuit that we filed in the D.C. Superior Court here in Washington, D.C., alleges uh, deceptive and unfair trade practices under our Consumer Protection Act. We are seeking to hold Meta accountable for engaging in deceptive and dangerous uh, business practices, putting out an addictive product designed to hook young people into spending more time on their screens and creating massive amounts of harm. Our lawsuit will seek monetary redress as well as injunctive relief to make sure that Meta changes its practices that are otherwise causing great harm to residents here in the District of Columbia and across the country. You know, Meta would probably, I don't know what they would say, but there are a number of social media apps parents are concerned about where they see these behaviors. Why not go after Apple? The iPhone seems to be the portal to everything. Look, we have a tremendous amount of evidence and information that's been developed uh, that shows that Meta knowingly has designed its products in a way to maximize its ad revenue by uh, addicting young young teenagers onto its product. It wants to keep eyeballs on its platforms for longer periods of time, and uh, it does that in a variety of addictive ways. And all of that is in furtherance of putting profits over people. And because we have the evidence to demonstrate that Meta has done this, uh, I, along with attorneys general across the country, in a bipartisan way, have filed lawsuits to hold Meta accountable. Brian, it's it's Dom here. I wonder, Meta has said that it has taken steps, that has put remedies in place around, I think they said 30 of them, application-type adjustments or alterations that are there to help safeguard against those things that you are suing over. In your mind, what exactly would be success on your front and, and the other attorneys general about this? What would Meta have to do other than what they claim they have already done to protect younger adults and, and teenagers? Well, we know that Meta for many, many years has known full well what type of adverse impact its, its apps have had, its social media platforms have had on young people. Uh, and has exploited the addictive nature of those apps to generate additional profits. And so part of what uh, Meta is going to have to do is going to have to compensate for the harms its behavior, its knowing behavior has created. More importantly, though, is the injunctive relief we're seeking. We need the uh, Meta to change the way it's rolling out an addictive product to young people who are particularly susceptible, the teenage brain, developing as it is, is particularly susceptible to addiction. And we hear time and time again that teenagers wish they could get off of their screens. They wish they could get off the social media platform, but like an addiction, they can't. The algorithms are designed to keep them on for as long as possible, and when they're off, to lure them back as quickly as possible. And we need that type of behavior to change. 